Judgment in the appeal Cusack against the London Borough of Harrow. Lord Calmworth will give the judgment. Uh, Mr. Cusack is a solicitor who has practiced from a property in Harrow since 1969. His property is on the main road, and there's a garden at the front which adjoins the footpath. At some date since 1948, the garden was turned into a forecourt for parking for staff and clients. To enter or leave, cars have to cross the footpath. No specific planning permission exists for the use of the office or the access, but they are agreed to be established and therefore lawful for planning purposes. In January 2009, the Councillor's Highway Authority told Mr. Kuzak that in the interest of safety, they were going to erect barriers in front of his property and several others along the road to prevent cars driving over the footpath. He began these proceedings for an injunction to stop the Council doing that. Now, there's no dispute at this stage that the Council had power to erect the barriers Two sections of the Highways Act 1980 are possibly in play. The Council rely on Section 80, which permits them to erect and maintain fences for the purpose of preventing access to a public highway unless authorised by planning permission. Mr. Kuzak contends that they could and should have acted under Section 66.2, which empowers the authority to erect fences for the purposes of safeguarding persons using the highway. The difference is that under Section 66.2, unlike Section 80, he would have had a right to compensation. Now, he failed in the county court but succeeded in the Court of Appeal, but the Supreme Court unanimously allows the Council's appeal. We held that the Court of Appeal were wrong to apply the principle of statutory construction that the specific overrides the general because the two sections, although overlapping, serve different purposes and neither can be regarded as more specific or more general than the other. The council was entitled to rely on the clear wording of section 80 to erect barriers in front of his property and under well-established principles of domestic law, it was immaterial that there was another possible power which would attract compensation. Nor was there any breach of his right to peaceful enjoyment of his property under Article 1 of the First Protocol to the European Convention on Human Rights. The erection of barriers would involve a control of the use of property under the article, but not a deprivation such as might attract a presumption in favour of compensation. There had been no challenge to the compatibility of Section 80 itself with the Convention. The only issue was the proportionality of its use in the particular case. In that respect, the case concerns issues of land use and planning control in relation to which Strasbourg cases allow the state a wide margin of appreciation. Although the access was regarded as lawful under the Planning Acts, it was not thereby to be regarded as equivalent to one authorised by Planning Commission and so within the specific protection given by Section 18.